Time now for a Fox News exclusive with our ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, overseas, making major news tonight on multiple fronts. She's addressing the socialist meltdown in Venezuela, as well as the maximum pressure campaign against Iran and even more. State Department correspondent Rich Edson is live traveling with uh, Ambassador Haley in Bogota, Colombia tonight. Good evening, Rich. Hey, good evening, Shannon. And the U.N. ambassador is here in Bogota leading the U.S. delegation for the inauguration of the new Colombian president, also touring counter-narcotic efforts out in the countryside and going to the border with Venezuela for that humanitarian crisis there. We were the only TV crew to accompany her throughout the day, spoke to her multiple times today about the issues that are facing Colombia, Venezuela, and U.S. foreign policy challenges thousands of miles away. United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley stands a short walk from the Venezuelan border, declaring it's time for Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro to go. While focusing on the humanitarian crisis in Venezuela, flooding into Colombia only a few feet away, she also addressed foreign policy challenges across the world and questions of how long the U.S. will wait for North Korea to surrender its nuclear weapons. We're willing to wait if they want to wait, but we're not willing to wait for too long. We're willing to be um, patient in what their demands may be, but they have to understand the result, the end result is the same. That's never going to change. We're not going to weaken the ask and we're not going to weaken the sanctions. So this is all in North Korea's court. Haley and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo have accused China and Russia of easing sanctions enforcement against North Korea. Today, a State Department official says the U.S. is sanctioning Russia again, this time for the poisoning of a former British spy and his daughter in England. Haley warns of more potential penalties. There's lots of different options that we can do, but I think you saw there was another round of sanctions that just happened this past week, and so those things are going to continue to happen until we can clean up the behavior. And this week, the U.S. began restoring sanctions against Iran that it once lifted as part of the Iran nuclear deal. The European Union wants to hold the agreement together and is warning European firms to continue conducting business with Iran. They can play politics all they want. What we know is it was a bad deal. We wanted to get out of the deal, and we did that. The e you can do what they want, but you can't condone the practices that are coming out of Iran. And so the EU will have a decision to make. Now back here to Colombia and the crisis ongoing with Venezuela. Ambassador Haley announced today that the United States will be providing nine million additional dollars so that Venezuelans can have more food to eat, clean water and medicine. That's on top of what the United States government says is already about 60 million dollars it's provided for those crises, for those victims of that crisis. Shannon. Yeah, dire situation for the people there. So, Rich, does the U.S. think that regime change is actually coming soon to Venezuela? Well, the ambassador says that at this point, you look at what's happened over the past weekend, there was an attempt on Nicolas Maduro's life, uh, and that eventually something has to happen to make him go. But the United Nations or uh, the U.N. ambassador said that, you know, she didn't announce anything that the United States would be uh, doing any type of intervention within that country. Right now, it's about continued sanctions. It's about getting other countries within this region to apply pressure to try to make him go. Uh, but the crisis continues. It persists. There are about a million Venezuelans living in Colombia today, according to the government here, because of that crisis over the last couple of years. Shannon. Rich Edson traveling with the ambassador in Bogota, Colombia. Thank you very much.